Okay, where are we and what we doing? Well, I had a request from one of the people or one of the people who watch my videos. Let's see if I can find it. A little faster, Mr. Internet. Ta da stop for that. Now Mr V Sat V V Sat no V Satan. Hey Pent, could you please give a tutorial on how to download and install custom missions? So, just for you, here we go. Best place to go to is Armaholic. I even gave you the link for this particular mission. It's here. If we go to the Armaholic front page, you will find lots and lots of custom um, content tons uh, because obviously all the excitement with armor 3 at the moment it's getting there are loads so but this is the thing and you can read up about um, what they think that it's about it and you've got down here the download so if you depending on your browser you may have to right click and save as but I'm just going to click um, it tells you about all the information Oops helps if I hit the right buttons in the right order but you're used to that tells you all about it and it says extract the PBO files into the MP missions folder for multiplayer and co-op and into your missions folder for single player I have found it tricky to do it um, in oh this is the screen recorder causing me problems go away um, playing in single player so what I do is I just start a multiplayer but then block the server or thing so it's a case of just copying the link or waiting for the file to come in I hope it's going to be reasonably quick um, come on catch up Mother's Day soon look yeah I might click on that one as well yay right it's being downloaded I'm using Chrome you can use whatever browser you'd like the look of and it's just a case of waiting for this to come in and what we can do is get ready now where you put it depends where you have armor 3 installed now I have two hard drives this one is a solid state drive and this one is a mechanical drive and I have steam installed on my mechanical drive where you'll see all my games but the thing is I didn't want armor 3 to be on my mechanical drive which is slow I wanted armor 3 to be on my SSD so I actually when I installed Steam when I installed it if we go here um, and look in properties I changed the location of where it was installed to and I told it to go to my C drive so what you're looking for is Steam apps common Armour 3 MP missions. So it, it may be this beginning portion may be different on your computer, uh, but it, what you're looking for is your Armour 3 folder within common within Steam apps, probably within Steam. So if I were to follow the same path on my D drive, Steam apps, common and there's all my games but in this case it's Steam Apps Common Armour 3 MP Missions now this is finished downloading so what we're going to do is we're going to open it and go in and what we're looking for is the PBO file PBO Stratus PBO and you to pick it up here and you drop it here of course I get a warning because it's already there so we'll copy and replace and that really is it whilst we're here I might as well have a little look at one of the other things that you can do in properties and that's set launch options ignore that last bit that's me just experimenting I'm still trying to figure out I wish I hadn't done that now uh, I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I can get it to see more than four cores but hey but the first bit no splash basically means you don't get the load in windows no world means when you're looking in your menu there's the, you're just looking at C and CPU count 
you might want to leave that out but that's all of that and if I click play now it'll do it but then I'll do I'll do a second half of the video where I'm recording in fraps and show you how I go about it but it really is that simple you go to the Armaholic website you download the file you extract it and you copy the file to um, your MP missions folder it really is that simple okay. <clears throat> second half of the uh, video if we go to play multiplayer we scroll all the way to the bottom host new session if you intend to only play this on your own keep it on LAN if you've got a buddy who wants to play it internet if you don't want everybody joining in you password it so in this case I'm playing on my own LAN we click OK we choose from the list of folders this will be quite, if this is the first one you've done it'll be quite empty but I've done this a few times so we click on the, the uh, one we downloaded which is capture again market uh, marina sorry uh, seek and destroy and as I've played it before we have the option to resume but in your case or it'll probably just start let's have a look at one I've never played no that's restart skirmish yeah you just get edit and play if it's one you've never done um, but let's do that one restart restart and then it's just like you've joined a, a multiplayer server you put yourself in as squad leader you click OK and you're playing you wait a few seconds and it'll be exactly as I started the video this morning uh, probably pretty close to the one I did yesterday as well and that's how you do custom missions <coughs> um, it really is excuse me <coughs> it really can be that simple um, you find a mission you like the look of you download it you drop it in your MP missions folder then you start your own server up and I got all these guys woohoo been here before none of them have ended well but on that note I'll say goodbye because thank you very much for watching um, I hope that you'll find that useful real simple I have no idea of the quality of the screen capture bit I did at the beginning because that might be poo because um, I just quickly went on the internet and, and searched free screen recorder and this is the one I came up with um, I've used Fraps for years and I know about the quality of Fraps I don't know about the quality of that screen recorder so uh, again thank you very much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed any more questions anything else that you need to ask me about give us a shout I'll see what I can do talk to you later boys and girls bye bye